Hi there everybody, this is Bryant from Gaga Gadget, and you're currently viewing the Motorola Droid Bionic smartphone. Um, this is a hot little item that uh, has just come out recently, and uh, we'd like to give you a little quick video review of it. Um, it's a pretty sexy smartphone. It's got a 4.3 inch TFT Gorilla Glass QHD display. Um, surrounded by a metal bezel, and on the back we've got uh, a nice plastic cover. For, uh, holding the battery in. Um, it comes with uh, Gingerbread 2.3.4 and will most likely get upgraded to Ice Cream Sandwich relatively soon. In fact I believe I just read something about uh, Google wanting to release that next week. Uh, there's 8 gigs of onboard storage with 16 gigs pre-installed in the SD card so you've got plenty of space for anything you might want to put on here. There's also an 8 megapixel camera on the back with a single LED flash. Shoots 1080p HD video. There's also a VGA camera on the front, if you can see that there. Um, the biggest feature on this phone, besides the awesome processor, it's got a 1 gigahertz uh, oh, da -da 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 -da. can't remember the exact specs, but I know it's got a 1 gigahertz processor thrown in it. Uh, the LED G, or excuse me, the 4G LTE speed on this is wicked fast, so I want to do a little comparison here. Um, I've got my HTC Desire here, and let me open that up. And we're going to do a little speedtest.net test here. We're going to run them at the same time here. Um, we've got, let me change the server on this one. So we've got, uh, we don't have the same network here, we've got US Cellular over here on the left and Verizon here on the right, but it's definitely a comparative test as far as uh, 3G and 4G speeds go. Um, let me start these right now. And as we watch this go through here, as you can see running about the same rate here. And we've got much lower speeds on the right hand side at the moment than I was seeing earlier. As you can see it's only uh, 5,000 at the moment for the download versus the 1100 over here. Um, obviously a considerable difference, but uh, let me try a different server here. Let me try Aurora. Because I had uh, some crazy fast ones earlier. See how fast that goes. As you can see, the upload on this was only 547, so uh, not even close. Yeah, there you go. That's a little bit higher. That's up to 14,000, and the upload's up to 11,000. It was much higher before. Um, as you can see, I had a max of 40,363 kbps down and maximum of 15,155 up. It's very, very fast in comparison to the 3G. Um, Let's try opening up, we'll go ahead and download an app here, let's download uh, Pandora. Except to download, and see how long that takes. It's a 1.23 megabyte app, and as you can see, no time at all. Installed already. Nice and quick here. And uh, if I can find it, oh, there it is. Continue. And then I believe I'll have to sign in and whatnot. But one thing to notice on this is the uh, keyboard. I was not too fond of it. It's kind of hard to type into. Um, I'm not going to bother creating a new Pandora account, but just gives you a taste of how fast this phone really is. Um, as you can see, I mean, stuff opens very, very quickly. Uh, I mean, you can open the camera here, which is going to show a black screen because it's down on the black desk at the moment but as you can see it's very very fast uh, I got a lot of praise for this phone uh, I had a lot of people asking for a video review so I figured I'd throw one together for you and I hope that's satiated your taste for the latest in Android phone that is the Motorola Droid Bionic